the championship. Mike Dodd, Pat Powers against Kart Kirai and Ken Steffes, the number one seed. And Jimmy Leonard will be our referee. And Brantley will be down in the crowd right now, roaring as the players are introduced to this huge crowd on a beautiful day here at Grand Haven, Michigan. And we are glad you joined us coast to coast on Prime Network. Mike Dodd will serve it up. His partner, Pat Powers, you saw it. They just defeated Adam Johnson and Brent Frohoff, and they're going up against Karch Karai and Ken Steffes looking for 11 tournament wins in a row. So this will be Karch. Shot with the dig and immediately a chance. Pat Powers, he's everywhere, but it'll be side out. I think what they're trying to do, Billy, here is they're going to go at Karch and see how that goes. They didn't fare too well last match earlier this morning. But I think by going at Karch, I think Powers thinks he can block Karch. I'm Bill McDonald along with Steve Obradovich. Sinjin Smith is here. We're going to talk to him in just a moment. There is Kent Steffes, the young gun, as they call him, 6'4", 210, born in Ann Arbor, Michigan. And boy, did that get a rousing roar from the crowd when they just announced that. And there is Kent ready to go. And let's bring in Sinjin now while we have a chance. Sinjin took a fifth this week with his partner Randy Stoklos, and I'm sure that is just biting at you right now. You'd rather be down there than up here, but talk about the streak that Steffes and Karai have going. Right now, tying your streak of 1986, it is tough no matter what year, what the competition, to put those many tournaments in a row together. Yeah, they're playing absolutely incredible. Uh, the last 10 tournaments, they've been unstoppable. Nobody's really gotten close to them. But, uh, and, and, you know, the same thing might happen here today. <laughs> Big pound by Pat Powers, side out. Any particular reason why they're playing so well? They're both excellent players. Any weakness that you can see that you can attack at all? No, really you have to go at these guys, and I think they're going to experiment a little bit, see if Kent's passing well, see if Karch is setting well. They're just going to have to see what's happening. You can't you can't really pick out an, uh, a weakness in them normally. Short serve, Karch. Oh, my! He puts it down after the sweet set from Steffes off the net. That's one of the reasons why they're champions is because you make a little mistake, you come right back at them. Watch Karch pass the ball almost into the net. Steffes actually sets that ball, hits the bottom of the net, and then goes right on the net. Karch just delivers the ball. Let's look at Powers at 6-5. Karch to serve. Over, in. What about the pressure? Do you think they're feeling any right now because they have tied and now they're going for it, or do you think it's just business as usual? For uh, I think it's really business as usual for them. They're, you know, they've been playing so well, nobody's really challenged them, so they're, they've got a ton of confidence coming into the finals here, and, and really nothing should slow them down. Well, wait a minute, you challenged them at Manhattan. I mean, that's close as you get to just... I guess you're right. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> but, you know, once it's over with, it, it's... You know, nobody remembers who was second place. It's his first place. They won their match. To their credit, uh, Hart said in, in an article in the Los Angeles Times this week that, hey, yeah, you got to be lucky plus good. And, and the two times that they beat you during the streak, he said, hey, we were awfully lucky, especially that Manhattan. He said the clock certainly helped us out in that one. Yeah, that, that clock's a funny thing, and you just can't tell which way it's going to go, and it's gone against us in two critical matches. Fight, fight, fight. Kirai up and over. With all that said, what about the clock? For or against you personally? Uh, I, I don't like the clock. I think it, it takes a lot away from the game. It, it uh, robs the fans of more volleyball and really the players too. I, I'd like to see the game finish to 15 instead of stopping at 9, 10, or 11. It's one nothing. Dodd Powers. Looking for the side out. Kent's right there. Hit by Powers, and when you give him room, keepers can really unload. So what you're saying, Sinjin, is like going to a baseball game and only seeing seven innings instead of nine. Watch Powers go up and hit this ball. Good dig, and he gets a good set by Mike Dodd, and Powers just uncorks. Nobody home off the outstretched hands of Ken Steffen. I think one thing that the clock has done, however, it has brought some incredible finishes and some dramatic finishes, uh, a little different than what you would normally expect if you're a pure volleyball fan when you're saying you're against it. But you have been involved in some incredible sudden death type situations. Yeah, you're right. But the thing is, the game ends at 10 or, or 9 sure. or 11. And you'd just like to see the game go out to 15, maybe to 16, all 17, all 18, all. And that, that would be incredible. And when the clock ends with a couple seconds left, that's the last play of the game. And you're not going to get any more volleyball. Certainly not like it used to be years ago when it was uh, side out till sunset, really, and the games went on forever. 
It is one nothing. Dodd Powers against Kirai Steffes, and that is Kent Steffes. No, 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 no. Uh, Fisher, is there a weakness to Steffes' game right now? I mean, they've won ten in a row. Obviously, there's no. There's a question on who is uh, who's to be serving now, and I think it is going to be Karch. <laughs> Kent looking around, uh, around rather yeah. bewildered a bit right now, and it will be Karch back to serve as we get things squared away. Even the best players, you know, they might not have necessarily weaknesses that you can go at every weekend, but on a given game, on a given weekend, maybe something's not going the way it should be going. Oh, and Dodge. Dodge. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. That's what you got to look for. You got to look for, you got to test the player, see what's happening. Maybe someone doesn't have their confidence here and there, but you know, with all the victories that they've had lately, they've got all the confidence in the world. So they can go for it at any given time because they know they can come back, even if they make a mistake, and they rarely do. Plus, on the other end, you get a guy like Dodd, or especially Pat Powers, who can really uncork one, and if he gets the adrenaline going and on a roll, look out. Yeah, Pat, Pat's one of the most incredible hitters out here. That play he did earlier in the game, he hit the ball from 10 foot, and he beat it. They backed off the net, didn't, didn't, not thinking he was going to hit the ball, and he blasted it. He does some amazing things. He gets up, so he's 6'5 to begin with, and he jumps really well and he gets his arm up there and it's just incredible what he can do with the volleyball when he wants to. Dig over. Set for Mike God. And that's it. The Powers and God right now playing flawless and that's what they're going to have to do if they're going to beat Kirai and Steffes. I'm Bill McDonald, Sinjin Smith, all-time a winningest player on the beach with us and of course OB alongside. It is one to nothing and Powers to serve. This is the final. The breeze has really calmed down, too. Not a factor. That's a great hit for Mike on the left side. Usually, you know, hitting from the right, you're not necessarily known for hitting on the left. Mike really reached on that and bombed it. You know, Pat's shoulder, he had an operation, and I, I know he's not real happy with the way, you know, he's been playing, but I'll tell you what, when he's playing well, he plays as good as anybody or better. Sometimes he's not sure where it's going, but it's going to be hard most of the time. Just like that one on the big flat by Ken Steffes right down the line, and it's side out, but it's two to nothing right now. Powers and Dodd over Kirai and Steffes. Sinji, going back to 1986, what are your memories of that streak, uh, thinking back and the incredible role that you guys were on? You know, we had two really good years. It was right after I had had a really bad summer. I'd had, I was sick, and I thought my career was ending, and I realized I had mononucleosis. And the next year, I really trained hard. We came back. We won, I think, 16 out of, out of 21 tournaments, and the next year, 17 out of 22. So we had two really great years. And then in 86, we had the, the 10 tournament winning streak. I never really thought about it. I mean, we just went out, and we were trying to win every tournament possible. OB, on the other side, what about you going up against Smith Stokos back in 1986? Obviously, you came in there thinking, oh, my gosh, we got to play as good or better than we possibly can to beat these guys. Yeah, we had some pretty spirited matches. I, I remember playing against those guys in 85 and 86 when, when I was playing Ricky Ludy. We came up on the short end of the stick like three tournaments in a row, 16, 14, 16, 14. It just got, it was a verbal assault out there between Stokeless and I and Finjan. It was mostly you, wasn't it? <laughs> Probably all me. You weren't so bad, though. Well, Stokey and OB chatting at each other. That's something to pay for. Yeah. <laughs> Karai will take the turn at 3-2. Karai and Steffes score three in a row. Back with more in a moment. Don't you move. Open. It is Karch Karai and Kent Steffes, the number one seed. Ten tournaments in a row going up against Dodd and Powers and Karch to serve. Powers over. And it's there. Just kisses the line side out. Powers Dodd. Powers not known for his deep shots like that. Just come take that thing out of nowhere. I don't think I've ever seen Pat do that shot. That was pretty good right on the back line. The peepers can do some strange things at strange times. Well, that's the way they have to play if they're going to win. They've got to do all the great things and do them well. Nice turn by Kent that time for the side out. Kent Stephens will go back and serve. Sinjin, while you're here, for Randy Stoklos and Sinjin Smith, the last few weeks considered a slump, if you would say that. And uh, obviously everybody expects you to be in the finals, really. Is it, is it, it is expected, almost. Uh, how do you feel you're playing? What do you do? If there is a downside right now, well, what is it, do you think? So? You know, I, I don't think either one of us is playing well. I don't think we've recovered as a team from Randy injuring his shoulder early in the year. He's hitting the ball now, but he's, for some reason, we just aren't clicking. Now, added to that, you got to realize, 
There is so much competition on the tour this year. It, it's unbelievable. I mean, there's there's 10 teams out there that could potentially win Opens now. It wasn't like that five years ago, 10 years ago, when OB was winning. <laughs> that was a long time ago. Oh, man, that's before hey, electricity. Let's, let's cut to the chase. When are you going to drop so close? When are you going to pick up a young kid? Uh, you know what? I still feel we can win. And if I didn't feel or if Randy didn't feel we could win, then I'm sure we would make a switch. But right now... I just think we have to get together again. I mean, we're both capable of doing it. We're, I mean, we've got little no. injuries and nagging things here and there, but not enough to keep us from winning. Does it ever cross your mind? I mean, to, to play with some young kid coming up that's 22, 23 years old, and you're going to nurture him and take him on to victory, sort of like, you know, Karch took Steffes under his wing and showed him the ropes, and now they're on this tremendous roll. Well, there's, there's nobody out there like Steffes right now. There's a lot of good, young, talented players, but nobody ready to step into the limelight like Kent did. Hit by Mike Dodd, using Ken Steffes that time. It is four to two, Kirai Steffes, Dodd Powers. It's funny, I started asking Sinjin that question and Obi had the biggest smile on his face over there. Saying, oh, I can't believe you're bringing it up. But in all fairness to Sinjin, I, I tell you, I remember going down to State Beach where Sinjin plays one afternoon, this is 1988. I played against Steffes and I ended up losing to Steffes. I was playing with Dane Selzik and I got really edgy at Steffes because I said, who's this hockey punk think he is? I went over to Sinjin, I go, who is that guy? He said, that guy is going to be the next animal of the tour. I said, no way. And Sinjin goes, you watch that kid, mark my word, in a couple of years, that kid is going to dominate the tour. Right out of high school, I would come down late in the evening, and Kent would be out there practicing by himself, jump surfing. I mean, with that kind of dedication and, and his physical ability, you know, he had to do well. Call it arrogant, call it cocky. He's just confident, and he knows it, and he's good, too. Kent Steffes and uh, his team right now on top four, three. His partner, of course, is not the best in the world. One of the best, Karch Kirai. It's 4-3, served by Stephen. From off the net, Powers, good dig by Stephen. Oh, and he can't get it over. So a chance goes by the boards there for Kirai and Stephen, but some good defense nonetheless. Pretty good serve by Stephen. Mike makes a good pass. Powers does a good set here and Mike drills that ball and Steffes just can't handle the set you got to keep that ball in I think Finjan that's the biggest thing after you dig a ball you don't get a great set you still want to hit the ball over the net well th that could be a sign of something happening to that team they're struggling a little bit uh, Mike and Pat are playing well enough now to stay with them if they do a few things here they could they could change this whole game and take take a lead Pat Powers with the jumper that's not one <laughs> side out I, I, your eyes Go ahead. I think Powers has got to, after jump serve, somehow get the net and block. I think he's much more active up there than Mike Dodd is walking right now. But while he's serving, I'm sure he's thinking it's so tough to get up there. It might, might make sense to have Mike block. I know it says Mike 6 foot 4 on, on the program, but I'll tell you what, if he's not 6'5 or 6'6, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> and a big guy pounds it down right there. Mike Dodd side out. You know, if you're just tuning in and you're thinking, where's Marlow, where's Sunderland, and they're not here, and who are the other guys? Steve Obradovich, Sinjin Smith. I'm Bill McDonald. Here is the set by. Starts to ride a step. Good dig by Dodd. Chance. Powers. Can Karch get it? Yes! Powers! This could be a tremendous lift for Karai Steffen. You see what happened? Powers made that rally go extra because when he touched, when the overset came over, I just hit by Stephens. Mike bumps it up. And Powers hits it over. Now watch how he passes this next ball. Karch comes up, a little off the block, and here it comes back over. Now watch Powers. He's got to get down low and pass, make a good pass. It. He makes a horrible pass. Got and we're tied at four. Karch. That's a tight set. It down. It goes. It's five four. See, they've got to make those spectacular plays. Winning that long rally is such a big boost to them. And then Pat going up and really reaching over and blocking that ball in 10 on a close set by Karch. Those are the things that they have to do if they're going to stay in this game. Now they've got a lead, and they could actually win this game. That was the Kong block at its best right there with Powers. Mike Dodd will serve, but we've got a timeout. The first call by Karch Kirai and Ken Steffes. They know that the momentum right now with Pat Powers and Mike Dodd and the crowd just loving that last rally sensational stuff out here 
You know, it almost looked like uh, Pat and Mike were a little bit sluggish, a little bit tired, but a, a couple plays like that, even though they drain them a lot, it's going to give them extra juice going into the rest of this game, a little bit of confidence. They want to go to the tiebreaker. I'd like to win this game and go right to the tiebreaker. How did these guys get together, Dodd and Powers? Well, Mike called a couple of weeks ago. Pat initially said, no way, Mike, I think you're hurt. Finally, they figured a couple of weeks ago, well, uh, We'll try the chemistry with the two old guys, and they've done very, very well. Of course, last week, taking a third, and here, no worse than a second, but they're looking to end that infamous streak right now that Karai and Shepard have rolling at 10. Dodd will serve leading 5-4. We're going to 15. Cart, big by Dodd. Chance to go 6-4. Got it! That was an incredible set by Pat Powers. I mean, Mike made a fantastic dig, but it was not easy to set that ball. The pound by Cart, the dig by Dodd. It's 6-4 if we take the third. The crowd loves it. We hope you are, too. Back in a moment with you. This is the final. Mike Dodd, Pat Powers right now stunning Karai Steffes. 6-4. You see the clock? 6 41.7, and it has come into play many times this weekend. We'll see if it does here in the final. Karch. Up, turn, nobody there. Side out. Kirai and Steffes. They had the play set up right. Mike was digging the line, and Pat was supposed to block the angle. He just didn't go far enough into the angle. Karch can really hit that ball sharp. they got to serve a little bit tougher than what they just served. That's a tough serve there, but just long by Ken Steffes, and the easy side out goes to Powers and Dodd. Pat Powers will serve, and the service error there by Ken Steffes. Powers admits that he was burned out a little bit in June in the first part of July, but he has really rejuvenated his game. He was frustrated with Brian Lewis, wanted to make a change, and that change has really worked well for both Powers and for Lewis, who's played well with Tim Hovland. The two service errors in succession, and Karai will serve. See if Karch and Steffa get, get on track here and see if they can bomb some jump serves on this side. That's a great serve right there. So as OB says it, Karch does it. Eighth and it's 6-5. You know, the wind is a factor, although it's not a big factor. Drawing it up into the wind and really hitting it hard is the thing to do, and that's exactly what he did. If there is a good side, it's right now with Karch and Kent. Definitely. See how Powers can bump set this one. Pretty close. Karch is there. And a net violation on Mike Dodd. That means we're tied at six in the final here at Grand Haven. Mike's got to be a little bit more aggressive. He got a good set there from Powers. You got to remember when Karch is behind the block, he's very quick. Watch this. He doesn't get aggressive on hit. He doesn't get in position to hit. He just kind of dinks the ball over a little bit and just doesn't work as we see the tail end of the play and now we've got a break and we will break away right here but stay with us because powers and dot and karai and Steffes are all knotted up and chasing after it can't get it another point mike the came really scored quickly mike came really close to decapitating himself he still towards that that standard that that pull it helps the standard i'm surprised he didn't hit it that's, that's three serves in a row by Karch for points, and, and it's nobody's fault. He's just serving that ball really tough, and it seems like he's serving into the middle of the court. This is probably the biggest part of this game, however, because Don and Powers cannot let this one slip away. These guys still... can get on a roll and really hurt you. Yeah, I don't think they're in that much trouble, Mike and Pat. I know now they know they can win this game, so they're just going to have to not give up too many points. Dodd serving at 6-7. Dodd there. Read it well. At the barrier, Powers. No, it's not going to go. Trying a near impossible shot. That's exactly right. Mike thought he had to really put that ball away on that shot instead of just keeping it in play. If he had kept that ball in play and forced these guys to make a good play. The great right up as he goes up behind the block. Powers makes a decent set. What Mike's got to do is reach and hit the ball high middle. He's trying to do an impossible cut shot, and it's just, there's just no way he's going to get that ball over the net. Mike, the big swing, Cart. Still alive. Kirai. See if Mike gets a swing. He does, and it's out. So Cart, Kirai, give him credit. A couple of great plays. And it's now 8-6.
That's a lot of great ball control by those two guys. Great get by Kent, however. Twice, twice, Karch had to adjust himself to make a play on the ball. Now, when Mike hits this ball out, when you and Randy go through that, does it frustrate you after a long rally that you did your part with a good set and it hits the ball out? It's incredibly frustrating, but, but you got to stay with it. Another ace, this time delivered by the young gun. Nine, six. We'll take the turn. Ryan Stepp is now forged to a 9-6 lead. I'm Bill McDonald along with Steve Obradovich. We uh, are happy to have Sinjin Smith up here with us, helping us out. Sinjin, what do you do now? The uh, number one seed, the, the dominant team on the tour this year, they're on a roll. What do you do to stop them? Well, just being on the good side now, uh, Pat and Mike, that could change enough right there. But still, they've got to concentrate on their side out. They've got to make great plays. Yeah, good is not going to be good enough. You've got to be great. And there is a side out as Mike Dodd pounds one down the line. See, now they have to do the very same thing that, that uh, Karch did. They have to really serve tough on this side. Now we'll get to see the karate man, Pat Powers, as OB would like to call him. Actually, not now because of the, the jump serve. Step Big, big bang. Cross court past the block of Mike Dodd. As Powers gets the other way. Well, a great serve, great serve by Pat Powers. Great pass by Kent Steffes. And watch Steffes bomb this ball cross court. Just cut Howie. Karch will be back. Let's see what Steffes can do with this one. Karch with a bit of a swing. Out. And it is. So once again, when they have the opportunity, Powers and Dodd don't keep the ball in play. And Karth Kirai with the dig, and it's 10-6. This whole play started on a jump serve by uh, Kirai, and look at Powers. He's got no touch on the ball. Ball comes off the net, and he just booms it out of bounds. Got to keep that ball in. Bad pass. Off the good serve. There's a great play by Mike. Tough pass. Uh, Pat made an, you know, a set just to get it up in the air, and Mike made a great shot back into the opposite opposite corner, backhanded. And that's one thing we were talking about before. You make the bad play, but then you've got to come back mentally and say, all right, I'm still in this point. And that's what Dodd did. Mike finds himself down 6-10 here in the final of Grand Haven. Ten on two. That's all he could really do was a smart play, and down it went. Yeah, I think that Pat has really got to concentrate on the block, blocking Kent's line. Kent really loves to hit that line. If he can shut down the line and force Kent to hit it into Mike cross court, I think that's the way to go. I think Stephens and Karai are sensing the kill here because they're jumps every from the side and they're bombing away and they scored three points already on this side. Power, side out. It will be six serving, ten. As Pat Powers will go back looking for some cheapies here with an ace, possibly. Down by four as Kirai and Steffes. I number 11 in a row. Pat's numbers. That's good serve. Mike had it, lost it, couldn't get it. Well, it's frustrating to be up there in a blocker, make a good block, and the ball just rolls under your armpit. Yeah, there's the, the confidence that they have. I mean, things just seem to go their way. I don't, I don't know what it is. When you're winning, everything going. <laughs> going well, being on a roll, baby. It's been going your way for over ten years. <laughs> Power, good decision. Wide open, and the nice touch. And with just under five minutes remaining on the clock, which started at 10, it is 6-10. Mike Dodd will be serving. Two, he serves two. They're going to step it. And Kent slaps it off the block. Kent was telling us before, Sinjin, that he says he sees about 80% of the serves and he just can't understand it. When you guys go up against Kirai and Steffes, do you have a plan or you just kind of feel it out as you go? We, we try and feel it out. We'll, we'll start with one or the other. If we're not successful, then we'll change it up. Um, 
I guess people think because Kent's so young and, and Karch has so much experience that Kent's the way to go, but it doesn't seem like it. <laughs> it doesn't seem like, nope, anybody serves Karch consistently, though. Like Seth was saying, he gets 80% of the serves. Why doesn't somebody serve Karch 100% of the ball? <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm not sure why. It, Karch has a great cut shot, and he has a nice high shot down the line, but not too much else than that as far as shots go. So you'd think that people could make a guess and run down one or the other of those. We'll see if Pat can hear us up here, and if he goes to Karch Kirai, he does. And that time over Mike Dodds, a nice shot by Karch, and a side out. It is 10-6. Kirai Shepherds right now over Dodd Powers, and we're in a bit of a side out streak. The sun-drenched crowd here. Yeah, you really have to make a guess. If you're going to get one of Karch's shots, you really have to be there. You can't, you can't wait and run it down. You've got to make a, a commitment to it. That time with the wind helping it, that one goes way long on Karch's serve. And is that because he jumps so high? Or is it because he can, he's can? he got so much knowledge of the court? No, it's definitely his height above the net and where he contacts the ball because he doesn't really hit it up. He hits it, you know, down almost over the block. Well, that was a gap. You know, Kent's setting, I mean, he's been setting pretty good normally, but he doesn't seem real confident in his sets. If you watch him attack the ball when he sets, his hands aren't together, really. That point goes to Powers Dodd on the mishandled ball. 10-7, here I step it. Perfect pass. A chance to go 10-8 here. Dodd got it! So two in a row for Powers and Dodd. See, that's what they've got to do. If they're going to serve Kent, then Pat has got to concentrate on taking all of the lines, shutting the line down, and allow Mike to step in and dig. Mike, even as a big player, is a great defensive player in the backcourt, so give Mike a chance to dig him. The key here on the good side, Powers and Dodd not letting Karai and Steffes get out of touch. It's only two points at 10-8. Powers up on Steffes. And that one's off of Pat Powers. And it'll be side out to Ken Steffes. I, I would think Mike Dodd would go back to Karch after Steffes threw a ball. And it's very unusual when a guy throws a ball, and Steffes threw that ball for a point, you go back at Karch and make Steffes set it again. Although they did get a point, I would still continue to serve Karch and work on Steffes' hands right now. You'd make a great coach, Obi. Oh, don't tell him that. <laughs> Kent runs it down. There's nobody. Nobody up. Mike Dodd. You've seen that a Great lot set. of times. Great set by Power! There it is, another unbelievable play by those two, and that's going to give them the confidence to stay in this game. So the sensational in the crowd appreciates it. Start with the dig. There's Mike. Great dig. He's a very good defensive player. Pat makes a darn good set outside of the court, and Mike drills it sharp cross court. Well, that's a tough hit, too, isn't it? Yeah, off the net a little bit. Ball coming from behind you. Let's stop. Up and over. Pat Powers is Dodd guesses the other way. See, now Mike knew he had to make a move one way or the other. He was really in there for the sharp cut. There's no way he's going to come back to the line. Funny, you see players when you watch them on TV and you think, God, he's not very quick, but I don't think they understand when you're playing behind a block, you're leaning and guessing one way. I'm interested, do you play off of tendencies of players on which way will the, they'll go, or do you just simply just say, hey, I'm going to guess one way or another and try to outbox him and make him look at me? You know, it's always different. Oh, Karch! Sorry to interrupt, but that one was down. 11-8, and we'll get back That's to the bomb minutes. right there. You don't get very many... Uh, that's like that with nobody up and Karch's eyes just yeah, light up like volleyball. You cannot give one of these guys a free net to hit the ball with a good set. You just can't do it. Power's there. Could be 12-8. And is! Kirai and Steffes, three points away from number 11. In their seat, Dodd Powers, Kirai Steffes, and right now, Karch Kirai and Kent Steffes lead it 12-8. Bill McDonald, Steve Obradovich, and Sinjin Smith bringing it to you from Grand Haven. Next week, Milwaukee as we go across the lake. Mike and Pat are going to need a miracle to win this tournament now. 
they're on the bad side and they're down. Uh, I mean, Karch, all he has to do is serve tough from this side, and it's going to put them in trouble. So let's see what happens. Bombs away right now on the jump serve. The plane is loaded, and here comes the bomb. By Dodd side out. It's a good hit. That set came back off the net about five feet. Mike really reached, even though he taped it. He hit it sharp enough cross court to get away from Cart. And our Killer Loop Kill Award will be awarded to uh, the best one, $500 they will receive. Right now, Mike Dodd with eight. The stats being compiled, of course, by Chris Allard, the Gator, who's head of the MPVA. Can't never win. And that'll be a point, 12-9. Powers is saying, get that junior college cut out of here. <laughs> that doesn't go down here. <laughs> I'll tell you, with Pat up at the net, it, it's a scary sight, I'll tell you. Dodd going sky. Powers is up. And Kent goes over. Side out. 12-9 with a little under three and a half minutes remaining in the final. That's Kent's favorite shot, over the block, down the line. Mike should be playing for that shot, I would say, 80% of the time. Yeah, I don't understand that when it comes to Stephens. I would play his line until he just cut me to death. Powers will get a chance to swing. Sets off. And an opportunity for a point. Card! Well, you can only bring it back at him so many times. 13-9. Karch just takes over at the net, just drills the ball, makes a good dig, and Karch just loves it when it comes back over like that. And this hard-packed sand, as we talked about, you can really get up, bang. It, it, it seems it's really fun when a guy overdigs the ball and you're up there all by yourself. It seems like you can really hit it hard. Garth gets his hands on it, but he's worked by Mike Dodd. Side out. I'll tell you, it's not that easy to jump out here. This is this is sand is like California sand. It's very difficult to move in. Even though it's been raining, it doesn't pack very well. That's interesting because Powers told us before that he thought it packed really well and he was he was jumping well. So the so two different points on, on how this sand is. He's in a dream world. <laughs> hey, I was going on my own. I was taking PP's advice. I tell you what, Steve Tim told me a great thing about Pat Powers. He, he, Pat Powers sees things as no other human being sees them. <laughs> well, he certainly feels and sees the sand then differently than anybody else. So we get the definitive word from St. John. Kent went, couldn't get it. As you heard, Cart parking orders. Still 13-9. Nice cut shot by Mike Dodd. Probably got one of the better cut shots on the tour. Step is tried. He's outstretched. Just missed it by a couple feet. Oh, that was an incredible shot. It went right to the line. And no one's going to get that ball. He's a pretty good cut shot, isn't he? Once in a while. Been on the other end of that thing once too many times. Dodd will serve. Mike was successful with the high ball, and he's going to go back to it. 9-13. Need to get uh, something done here on the bad side. Oh Karch is just jumping really well today. You can just see, just playing with powers up there. He's got the whole court to work with, and he just went right over the top of Peepers. Well, I think, I think the defense, Mike's got to start on the angle, let the, let the hitter see him on the angle, and then he's got to make a move to the line, whether it be Kent or Karch. Steph is leading by four, two points away from the championship. Karch is up, Dodd. Just inside the block on Karch's side. And it'll be side out, the Powers and Dodd. Karch was just off the net enough where Mike could squeak the ball inside of him down on his side. Didn't quite get over the net. Got to penetrate. Nobody! Steph is with nobody there. Down the line again. So whether he pounds it or he hits it over, it's down the line. Get Steph and it works wonders. Side out. Arch will serve. I, I just don't understand why Powers comes back off the block. Steph makes a good pass. You know Karch is going to set the ball. And Peepers comes back. I mean, giving an open net to those guys is just is, is unbelievable. 
with Deppis up to dig by Garch. That time, Powers pounds one. Kent was right there on the block, and Powers really powered it through. I mean, he hit that ball very hard. Kent couldn't have blocked that. The strength exhibited by Pat Powers. Karch, <laughs> Karch got hit on the beak there. <laughs> he got a little nose ball. Came off his wrist and hit him right in the nose. We've seen Mike Dodd go to the sky ball. Why not the sky ball as much as uh, maybe some people would like to see it? Because the jump serve is so successful or just the sky ball is so hard to perfect? Um, it depends. If the sun was straight overhead, you'd probably see it more often. If the wind was blowing a little bit harder at Mike's back, he'd probably be doing it more often. I think he's doing it just to change things up. He knows he can't serve a jump serve from the bad side, and he doesn't want to serve a lollipop, so he's going to go to the sky ball, give him something different. And it was successful on, on Kent earlier uh, a few points ago. We're holding at 13-9. Service there, Kent Steffes. So Powers and Dodd not getting to the brink yet. They still have a chance. Yeah. I, I wouldn't count them out. Anything can happen. The momentum can switch in their favor, and they can run off four points. It gets to 14. It gets a little dicey. Right now, it's 9-13. And that one finds the back corner pretty tough, too. There's still enough time on the clock, too. I, I don't think they're going to get stopped by the clock unless they start siding out for quite a while. Maybe if they're siding out for quite a while. Maybe if they put some quicksand on the side of Steffes and Karai, maybe they could catch them about the only way I think they're going to catch him right now. Here's your score, 13-9. Karch, a lot of his mates, his old mates right now, performing in Barcelona for the U.S. national team. Great dig! Now he's up! See ya! See, there you go again. That was a broken play, and the set was right on the net. You cannot give these guys open net. I don't care how bad the pass is, everybody's going to try and set that ball close to the net. Karch makes an incredible dig just off the end of his hand, and Kent makes a great set. A little low, Karch had a hard time getting to it, but he's got an open net. That's a great set by Steffes. We have reached a historic point, possibly. Kirai Steffes looking for their 11th tournament win in a row. It could happen right here. Not right now, says Pat Powers. Pat went to his finesse. Maybe he is a little tired. He hit one pretty hard earlier, but now he's going to his shot again. They've got to do some really special stuff right now. And Mike Dodd will go back to the barrier to get set to serve at 9.14. Back to the sky. Great hit by Steffes after the perfect set by Kirai. Once again, it'll be our second championship point. Powers has got to make a commitment uh, a little bit more than that. He's just blocking in the middle. He's got to take Steffes' angle away and have Mike cover the line. That's what Cindy was saying earlier. Steffes loves to go hit the line. And if Mike's there and Pat takes the uh, angle, it'll work much better. Powers! Big hit just inside the line. Uh, the kind of hit that only Pat can make. Again, a set was 10 feet off the net. It wasn't a great pass. Mike made an okay set, but it was well off the net. And Pat just reached and hammered that thing. Still breathing. Powers dodge. And Karai and Steph is dig in. As we reach the late afternoon in Grand Haven. That one went right through Dodd. Side out. Karai and Steph is Karch will be back to serve at 14-9. Third that was, time, championship point. That was a great hit. It's just Mike was in the right spot. It just came a little fast. So that, that wasn't a bad play on defense by them. Dot to hit with Steffes up. Right pass. And we're going to take a quick go away. We're at championship point. It's 14-9. For Dodd Powers. Steffes got it again. They have won. 11 out of 12. They have won 10 in a row. See, Mike, Kent is only hitting two sharp angles, and Mike still wanted to play the angle. I still think the better idea is to let Kent have a couple sharp hits and go to his line, what he's doing most of the time. Power setting dot. It's way off the net. And Karch and Kent kind of looked at each other. I got it. You take it. Down it went. Side out. That was a brutal set. Yeah. <laughs> Mike made a really good hit. Karch did the right thing, pulled off the net, and Steffes came back. They were both in good position, and Mike just drilled it down the middle. 
I was trying to be kind. You just came right out and said it. Brutal. It was a horrible set. <laughs> I don't know how anybody could be potty trained for those sets. Side out again. Karai and Stefan this close to a record. And then Mengus and Lee will be in their sights. Dot. No! And that's it! 11 in a row! Kart Kirai and Ken Steffes have set an all-time single season record on the ABP 